Hey everyone, it's Fitz with the Daily Delivery. Hope you're doing well. We're getting ready to leave here from Irving, Texas after Kansas State's 24 to seven victory on Saturday at AT&T Stadium against Stanford. Great season opening win for the Wildcats. It was a uh, really clean performance for K-State for the most part. Skylar Thompson had that one touchdown turned interception to start the game, but boy, I tell you what, K-State overall played pretty well. As Chris Kleiman said though, there's plenty of room for growth and they have a lot of things to work on as the schedule will get more difficult and more difficult as they go through this season. In hindsight, Stanford was pretty much uh, what I thought they would be, maybe a little bit less. The Cardinal uh, didn't really ever impress me when I was uh, preparing for this game. And as I said throughout the preseason, I really think Nevada is the better team between the two. And what did the Wolfpack do? They went out and beat their own Pac-12 team yesterday winning at Cal 22-17. So uh, I, I'm telling you, in a couple weeks, case it's going to have its hands full with the Wolfpack as they prepare, the Wildcats prepare, to get into Big 12 play. Next week, as you know, it's Southern Illinois coming to Bill Snyder Family Stadium. They're trying to get that sellout, and we'll see if, if that can happen. Uh, 3,000 short as of yesterday of a sellout for Kansas State's home opener, and I hope the fan base is a little bit fired up after this. Let's talk about Skylar Thompson real quick as we get ready to hit the road here and head back to Kansas. You know, Skylar was far from perfect, uh, but uh, there was a lot going on in his head as he showed in the post-game press conference. He got a little bit emotional after a student journalist, I believe it was a student journalist, asked a really good brief question about his thoughts uh, after scoring that first touchdown and kind of running over a cornerback for the Cardinal. and. Skyler got emotional. He got really kind of choked up, uh, kind of philosophical. You can see that quote from Zach Carlson's video that he put up of all the post-game press conference. Uh, and I tell you what, uh, it's hard to judge what Skyler had in his head and what this game meant to Skyler Thompson coming off what could have been a career-ending ending pectoralis injury last year. He's got a nasty scar. And I think when he put that shoulder down to get into the end zone, he wanted to make a point that Skyler Thompson was back. Well, Kansas State might be back. I don't want to sound like Texas here, but the Wildcats certainly looked more true to form. And if Skyler continues to stay healthy, continues to lead this team, and that defense continues to play with the kind of spirit and focus we saw the Wildcats play with on Saturday, this team's going to be okay. We'll uh, be taping a post-game game review podcast here tonight on Sunday. So make sure you look at Go Power Cat on Monday.